Today I'm installing my Dash and Albert rugs from Annie Selkie. This is one of the very last things I need to do in my attic renovation and I'm excited to get it done. In preparation for our staircase runner installation, we painted the edge of the stairs black. This is the same paint that I have on my downstairs steps, so it's kind of tying it all together. For my staircase runner, I've decided to use the Dash and Albert Capri Sumac Woven Jute Rug. It's a beautiful, thick rug, so it's gonna be very plush on the steps, which means that all that noise from little kids running up and down the stairs is gonna be brought down to a minimum. It's so easy to install one of these staircase runners that I'm certain that after you watch this video, you will be confident that you can do it yourself. The tools that you need for this project are your carpet, your rug pad and carpet tape. I'm using this battery operated staple gun. You also want a measuring tape. This is just so that you can keep your runner consistent on both sides of the steps as you go down. I'm also using my wallpaper smoother tool to help me get in to the grooves of the steps and use that to hold the carpet in place while I staple. I also have a pair of fabric scissors because I'm gonna need to cut my runner at some point as I go down the stairs. My plan today is to start from the top and then work my way up from the bottom so that I can have these nice clean lines at the top and the bottom of the stairs to make it look like it's one piece. I've wiped my steps clean and I'm ready to put my rug underlay on each stair. So what you want to do is cut the pieces to the size of your step and then take your carpet tape and put a piece on the outside and then one down the middle. Once you've stuck a piece of rug pad to each step, you're ready to move on to your runner. So I'm gonna line this up right underneath the top of my riser and I'm gonna use my measuring tape to make sure that I'm equal on both sides. And I also want it to be even on the step. I'm also gonna use my wallpapering tool to get my carpet nice and flat at the top of the riser and work it into the crease. Staple every inch along the top. Work the carpet to just cover up your staples. So I've decided to do a waterfall technique on this carpet, which means I'm not going to be tucking the carpet underneath the staircase riser. I'm just going to do it flat down to the next crease. As far as the riser goes and the step, you want an inch and a half on either side. And staple along the bottom. And I'll just repeat as I go down the stairs until I get to the end of this rug. And I'll start working my way up from the bottom and then when I come to the middle I'll have to cut the rugs and I'll show you how to do your seams. So I've got my top runner in and I'm just leaving the last piece of it loose for now because I want this nice clean finish line at the bottom. I'm going to start here and work my way up to the middle. First thing I need to do is line these up and figure out where the pattern starts to repeat. This is always the hardest part making them join. I've gone overboard with the carpet tape and the staples in that spot where I cut the carpet so that it will be secure for years. I can see where the pattern starts to repeat here and where it would start on this rug so I want to basically cut it there but I'm going to give it a little bit of extra room because of it could fray and also I might want to tuck it slightly under as I staple it so that I can make sure that this rug doesn't fray. Tuck you're gonna hurt yourself. He's probably thinking, this is gonna be a great place for me to pee. Don't go pee on this. Hey, tuck. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that how they went disappearing? How they disappeared before? Because you were chewing on them? Yeah, these aren't for you. Are you trying to help? Because you're not being very helpful right now. I'm trying to cut. Watch out. Watch out, go, go, go. Down, slide. It's a slide. So now I need to cut this piece and the other piece of the rug and hope that they will line up. So there it is, my staircase runner is installed. And other than a little bit of physical fatigue, it's fairly easy and basic to do. So if you have the right tools and you have the right materials and you have some energy, you can just do it yourself.